play on a, a failed pickoff attempt and then a throwing error from the outfield, the other big story. Even though we couldn't watch that game on television, Canada's men's team finished 7 We see a lot on television, no. did we? Canada's men's team finished the tournament 7-1, only losing the other dressage on television. Would you say that was the biggest failure of the Pan Am Games? The fact we couldn't see it? How was the Pan Am Games? I don't know. I couldn't watch it. It was awesome. What do you mean? They would have rather put it on the internet where you got to jump through 74 hoops to watch it. Or you could watch it at 3 in the morning. Up to you. Canada's women's uh, baseball team also won a silver, losing 11-3 at the United States in the gold medal game. In gymnastics, Canada earned seven medals in gymnastics. Seven in artistic gymnastics and four in rhythmic. How about the one? That one girl, what was her name? Allie, 100 medals. Allie Black won five of the seven medals for, yeah. for Canada in artistic gymnastics, winning gold in the women's beam, the women's floor, the women's all-around. She earned a silver in the women's team event and a bronze in the women's vault. Did we win a medal in uh, the, the, the the rhythm thing? Uh, the rhythm? Yeah, yeah she won a medal. Right the ribbon. Ribbon running. What it's about the baton? No, it's called ribbon running. What about the thing where it's called the... Uh, it's called ribbons. But what about the ball where they throw the ball up in the air? They got a ball in the air. ball in ribboning. As well as swimming, Canada finished with 27 medals in the pool. Yeah, the ball. That's the ball in swimming. Then. Right. This, we yeah, just throw up and yeah, make a good summer something and catch yeah. it. And that's where the, the whole term came from. Ball. Like I guess 27 medals. Ball. 27 medals. Canada finished yeah. finish with in swimming. Uh, 8 gold, 10 silver, and 9 bronze. Yeah. The United States finished in first place with 32 medals in the pool. And Brazil finished in second place with 26 medals. Canada was the third place team. A couple of memorable moments in the pool, Ryan Cochran winning the men's 1500 meter freestyle by a ton, like yeah. one by like, a, like a whole, 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 whole. The women's swim team winning gold and the women's four by he 100 was shower. He was showering by the time the last guy finished. So then I have a couple of missed opportunities for Canada disqualifications. On July 16th, uh, Emily Overholt, she was disqualified from her 400 meter individual medley gold medal winning because she had a, sim a non simultaneous touch, you know, she touched uh, two hand touch to the wall. Don't care about the wrong touch. Canada men's freestyle, and then we have uh, Canada men's freestyle relay team also lost out on a medal. They they won their they won bronze. The United States was penalized for having a swimmer with tape fingers. They appealed and they won, so Canada was given the silver, and then they took the silver away and got a bronze. That's the U.S. Right? They appealed everything. Right. They appealed like twice, to, and then we eventually lose the fourth. The United States is full of a bunch of babies. And you know they're cheating, too. Totally. You know they have all they're their all drugs. steroids, like that they can't even detect it yet. On, yeah. On like Saturday, all of them. I can't trust the United States and China, because you know they're both filthily drugging their athletes like nobody's business to win at the elite level. Oh, 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 step up, set. Yeah. Oh, really? Sorry, here's another country I can't trust. St. Lucia. You been there? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That place is too nice for people to be competitive. Turn up going on. Toes, toes up in your back. No. Don't. Over the weekend, Canada stands yeah. by they four. They have a crime rate of zero. But I think it's a lie. On the weekend, uh, Canada's men's by 400 meter relay team was disqualified two out and lost two hours after the race after stepping over the line. After the second protest through the United States, was the first time they protest? They're like, no oh, shot. Second time they're like, oh yeah, we're here with Trinidad and Tobago, we're both protesting. They're like, all right here. A couple of missed opportunities. Canada's women's soccer team lost to Mexico two one in the, in the bronze medal match on Friday. Canada failed to score in four of the six matches they played in, uh, as well as the men's team. Uh, yeah. It did back to the whole process, protesting thing. Do you remember when uh, the United States didn't get the World Cup? What do they do? They start investigating corruption in FIFA, and then they sit, and then, and then, and then, and boom, we That's a bad example. No, it's not. It was rampant. No, it's corrupt. I think it's, you know what? Here's the thing. I think it's all been planted. Right. I think it's all the money's been shuffled around and planted because they lost. Same thing with the Canadian men's 4 by one money. They're like, we can't stand for this. Let's appeal it. No way. Let's go get uh, Trinidad and Tobago because no one else wants to. They're like, we're being such a bunch of sore losers. Dorks. On Saturday, they had the preliminary draw for the World Cup. They had Vladimir Putin and Seth Blatter hand in hand. It was great. <laughs> the next St. Petersburg. The next Pan Am Games. Two of the most corrupt people in the yeah. world. Great. In Lima, Peru. In two, yeah, Lima, Peru, 2019. So just a quick thing on ticket sales. One week before the game started, 750,000 tickets were sold out of an available 1.2 million. So just over half. 
Okay. Did you see the? Did you see John Tory do? He was waving the flag to start the whole flag thing at the end yesterday. Did you? Did you watch closing story? No. So yeah. Well, why are you shaking your head like you did? No, you did. Did. I did. And then he was waving it, and he got it stuck in in its own flag, and it wouldn't wave. And then he starts laughing like, I don't know how to wave a flag. So he just handed it to the next guy. <laughs> anyway, really? Could that be the easiest thing in the world to do? Is wave a flag? Pretty much. Anyway, go ahead. That is saying the word written. Ticket sales. Written. Nope. Ticket sales. It's clutch. Again. Written. Uh, right. Toronto sold over a million tickets to the Pan Am Games. Ticket sales are expected to cover 40 million of the 2.5 million dollar budget for the Pan Am Games. And I know you guys were talking earlier about uh, the oh, 40 million of the 2.5 million. It's a billion, excuse me. 